Hello everyone! This is the second part of factoring quadratic trinomials. In this case, we will consider quadratic trinomials whose leading coefficient is no longer 1. Let's have an example. 6x squared minus 19x plus 10. As you can see, the coefficient of x squared this time is no longer 1 but 6. Still, we are expecting to get two binomial factors. The first step is we will list all the pair of factors of the first term as well as the last term. Pair of factors of the first term we have 3x and 2x. Another, 6x and x. If you notice, this is where case 2 is different from case 1. Recall that in case 1, we only have one pair of factors for our first term. For the pair of factors of our last term, positive 10, we have 2 and 5 as well as 1 and 10. Take note that the last term is positive 10. We can also consider negative 2 and negative 5 as well as negative 1 and negative 10 for the pair of factors of positive 10. This technique of factoring quadratic trinomial is also known as trial and error method. From the name itself, we will going to try pair of factors of the first term and the last term and then we will going to check whether we got the correct combination. Let us test 3x and 2x for our first term and positive 2 and positive 5 for our second terms in these two binomial factors. Now to check whether we got the correct combination, we will apply distributive property of multiplication. I hope you still remember that. But the good thing is we don't need to get the whole product. Our main concern is only the middle term. Because it is obvious to get the first term 6x squared after multiplying 3x and 2x as well as positive 10 after multiplying positive 2 and positive 5. To get the middle term, we will multiply the outer terms. 3x times 5, we have 15x as well as the inner terms positive 2 and positive 2x, the product is positive 4x. Now the sum here leads to the middle term. The sum in this case is positive 19x, but we need negative 19x. So what do we do now? Since we only miss the sign, we will manipulate the operations of our binomial factors. Remember that the factors of positive 10 can also be negative 2 and negative 5. So let's try considering those. We will have 3x minus 2 and 2x minus 5 for our binomial factors. Multiplying the outer terms, negative 15x is the result. For the inner terms, negative 2 times 2x, the result is negative 4x. Now the sum is now negative 19x. Since we already got the middle term, here are now the correct factors. Quantity 3x minus 2 times the quantity 2x minus 5 is just the same as 6x squared minus 19x plus 10. Another example, 2x squared plus 7x plus 6. Setting up two binomial factors, list all the pair of factors of the first and the last terms. For the first term, we have 2x and x only. While for the last term, we have 3 and 2 as well as 6 and 1. Again, since the last term is positive 6, we can also consider negative 3 and negative 2 as well as negative 6 and negative 1. Let's check 2x and x for the first terms, positive 3 and positive 2 for our second terms. To check whether we got the correct factors, we will multiply the outer terms, 2x times 2, we have 4x, as well as the inner terms, 3 times x is 3x. Sum of this is 7x, which is the correct middle term based on our given. Since we already got that, here are now the correct factors that we need. 2x plus 3 and x plus 2. For our last example, 8x squared minus 6x minus 9. Setting up two binomial factors, list pair of factors of the first and the last terms. For the first term, we have 2x and 4x as well as x times 8x. For the last term, since we have negative 9, one of the factors should be negative while the other one is positive. We have 3 and negative 3. Another 1 and negative 9. Another pair we have negative 1 and 9. Let's check 2x and 4x for the first terms and then plus 3 and minus 3 for the second terms of our binomial factors. 
Multiply now the outers and the inners to get the middle term negative 6x. 2x times negative 3, we have negative 6x. For the inner terms, 3 times 4x, we have positive 12x. Combining this, we have positive 6x. But we need negative 6x. Since we only miss the sign, we will again manipulate the operations of our binomial factors. Let's try interchanging plus 3 and minus 3. Let's write 2x minus 3 for our first binomial factor, 4x plus 3 for our second binomial factor. Multiplying the outers, 2x times 3, we have positive 6x now. And as for the inner terms, negative 3 times 4x, we have negative 12x. Simplifying this, we get negative 6x, which is the correct middle term based on our given. And since we already got that, the correct factors are 2x minus 3 and 4x plus 3. So that's how we get the factors of a quadratic trinomial whose leading coefficient is no longer 1. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, click on the thumbs up below. You may also check our playlist regarding special products and do not forget to subscribe.